Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. I am back from Bonaire, which was the most amazing vacation that I have ever had. If you follow me on my Instagram, you know that I posted so many pictures of the sea and just the beautiful island. It just was such an amazing vacation and I've spent so much time with my dad and we stayed at my aunt and uncle's house. It just was amazing. It was the best time that I've had this year until so far. So I got that vacation as a gift for my father for like the end of high school because yesterday I learned that I've graduated high school. I did it. I'm done with it. And now I'm going to university, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, in three months, I'll be doing biomedical sciences at the University of Utrecht, which is something just completely new and different. And I'm going to meet new people. And it's just going to be different and a really big thing in my life so I don't know right now I'm just feeling really happy and strange <laughs> but now I'm gonna make a video because it has been about a month ago today I'm gonna do the mid-year book freakout tag is that correct I hope that was the right order because it's a long name for a tag last year I wanted to do this as well but then it was September and we only had three months left in the year so couldn't really do it anymore but right now I'm a little bit early which is absolutely great. Uh, I just want to say that I haven't really read that many books this year because I was mainly just focusing on school because I just wanted to graduate and I did that so right now I hopefully can read a lot more. Let's start with the mid-year book freak out tag because that's what we are all here for right? So I took some notes on my phone so that's why I'm looking down. Um, so the first question is the best book you've read until so far and I'm definitely gonna have to say A Darker, Sh Ugh, a Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Oh wait I read 14 books then because this book for some reason is not showing up on my Goodreads page even though I updated it while I was reading it and it just doesn't show up on it which is weird but I gave this book I think a four and a half out of five stars. I believe that um, V.E. Schwab is for adult people and Victoria Schwab which is the same author is for YA books but I totally did not feel like this book was adult fantasy. New adult? Okay, mm-hmm. But I feel like people my age, around like 18, 17, you know, could definitely read this book. It's not that hard to get into the world and to understand kind of what the characters are going through. But why I love this book so much is because I really was super interested in the parallel Londons. Uh, so in this book you have grey, white, black, and red London. And Cal is one of our main characters who can travel between these parallel Londons and he always takes like artifacts of those Londons with him which is actually illegal but then something happens with one of those artifacts and who it's all so exciting. Um, I just really love the characters, I love the world, and it's just a really good book in my opinion. Question number two is best sequel you've read so far, and this year until so far I haven't finished any sequels, which is weird, but I'm currently rereading A Court of Mist and Fury, and I read that book last year and I loved it so much, so if you can count that, I know that I will still really love Akamath, um, so I say, I'm gonna say that one. Question number three, a new release you haven't read yet but want to. So for this question, I'm only gonna pick new releases that I've bought because otherwise I could name so many books. Um, so I've got um, two right here. So the first one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I've heard really great things about this book. I've also heard people saying that they don't really love this book, but I pre-ordered this one in December and it came out at the end of January and I still haven't read it. It's just that I'm not really in the mood for fantasy right now, even though I'm rereading Akamath, but just also not really feeling that one. I just haven't really felt the urge to pick this one up, but we shall see when I will have that urge. And um, the second one, which I thought I was gonna read immediately, but then I decided to reread the whole series, and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Miss Sarah J. Mass. I feel like the majority of people really enjoyed this book, but then again, I've also heard mixed things about it, but I will just go into this book without any expectations, and I just hope that I will love it. And by the way, this cover is my favorite one of the three. So question number four is most anticipated release for the second half of 2017 and for this one I chose A Daughter of the Burning City. I'm really excited for this one because I am pretty damn sure that this is going to be in a bookish 
subscription box for the month of July and uh, I read the synopsis and it sounds really interesting. I'm not too sure about the synopsis anymore but it has to do with a girl who can create illusions and who is in like a, a running circus and then strange murders happen because of those illusions I think. Not too damn sure about it but it just sounds really interesting and like an amazing fantasy read so that one, and I believe it comes out somewhere at the end of July. Question number five is biggest disappointment, and for that one, I'm gonna have to go with If I Wish Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I still kind of enjoyed this book. I think I would give this one like a three out of five stars if I'm being quite generous. I just found this book to be a little bit boring and it's kind of weird to say that because this is a book about a transgender girl who goes to a new school and she has a really big crush on this guy and they start dating but she is really afraid to tell the guy that she's dating that she's transgender because she just doesn't know how people will respond and even her new girlfriends at school she doesn't tell it to them and it's you know a really big struggle for her then eventually things start spilling out and you know Shit happens. I especially got really excited when I saw Maddie and Bee from A Heart Full of Books give this book a really high rating because those girls are so honest, which is really great, and they only give high ratings to books when they really absolutely love them. So that is why I thought this book was going to be amazing. But for me personally, it just was kind of flat. I didn't really like the characters. I didn't really like the way that Meredith Russo wrote. I didn't really like her writing style, so for me this was just not it. Then I have Biggest Surprise, and for me this was The Princess Saves Herself in This One by Amanda Lovelace. This was just such a big surprise because one, it's poetry, and I've never read poetry before, so I was kind of hesitant to pick one poetry book up, but it was amazing. I loved the poems. I read it in one sitting, which is really easy because it's quite short, but I never read books in one sitting, but this was just, I couldn't stop it. I had to read all the poems. I loved Amanda Lovelace's writing style, so definitely a big surprise. And I think I gave this one like a four or a five out of five stars. Just was really, really good. Next question is favorite new author, and I haven't really read that many books by the same author, but if I have to choose, maybe Becky Albertalli from Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I really liked her fluffy writing style, and I've heard great things about her other book that came out this year, The Upside of Unrequited. Unrequited? Not too sure how to pronounce that word. Word. God, I can't really answer this question to be honest. Then I have a newest fictional crush and I think I'm gonna have to say um, Kel from A Darker Shade of Magic because I don't know, I just really like his character. He just seems super nice and his powers are really awesome and he seems like a really caring and funny person and I just would love to be friends with Cal. Then I have newest favorite character and this one is gonna be a little bit strange um, because I mean, I've known this character for such a long time but I'm just, I'm just gonna say it guys, my new fictional crush is Fred Weasley from the Harry Potter series and I've already, like I've always loved Fred but I have reread Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the first time in English and that by the way was already such an amazing experience, it was so much better um, than just reading it in Dutch and reading it without illustrations because I read the illustrated edition and I refound my love for Fred Weasley. He's just so funny. A book that makes you cry and for that one I also have to go for The Princess Saves Herself in this one. The poems were just so emotional and I just, I just had to cry and I never expected that before reading that book so Good job! A book that made me happy and for that one I also have to pick Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the illustrated edition! Woohoo! It just was such an amazing experience rereading this book with beautiful illustrations and it just made me happy all over again. So definitely this one. Next question is favorite book to movie adaptation you saw this year. So for this one I actually don't have a book. Like I don't- I haven't seen a book to movie adaptation yet, but I know that in the United States this movie has already come out like one month ago or something and I believe that it isn't even out in the Netherlands yet, but I think I will really enjoy this book to movie adaptation and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I've read this book I think in May and I really enjoyed it. Wasn't my favorite read but it just was really cute and I read it in like three days. This is about a girl who is allergic to everything and she has to live in her house all the time. No one can really come and see her that often but then she gets a new neighbor and this boy is 
really cute and she starts falling in love with him and you just have to read the rest to find out what happens. So I haven't seen that movie yet but I think it's gonna be really good. Um, next question is favorite review you've written or I think filmed this year. I don't do reviews just because I don't like recording reviews. I have done a couple or maybe like even one ever on my booktube channel but I don't really like making them. I know that not a lot of people will watch them so that's also a kind of a reason that I don't really want to put that much effort in a video that not a lot of people are gonna watch. Plus I don't like to make them myself really um so I don't have any. So my most beautiful book that I've bought until so far this year is definitely Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. A ton of people have gotten this book in their April fairy loot box and this edition is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. This is the UK hardcover edition, but unfortunately I don't have the blue sprayed pages. That was one of the reasons why I bought this as well because I was like, oh my god, blue pages. That just looks so beautiful. But this one doesn't have it. Plus, I believe that this one also doesn't have the beautiful butterfly drawing in the beginning. That was a tiny bit of a disappointment, but still, this is absolutely beautiful. Yes, you are. And the last question is, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? I could pick just basically every book that I have here with me, but for this one, I'm gonna choose Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. I've been meaning to get to this book ever since last year somewhere. I read Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince somewhere last year and I still haven't finished the series just because I don't want this series to end. Plus, I just, I don't know, it's big. I know that's not really gonna be a struggle for me because I read these within like two weeks, definitely. I just don't want this series to end, okay guys? Plus, of course, I need to read A Court of Wings and Ruin. I just, I just need to read that one. And the last one that I really wanna read is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab because I just want to continue on with this series because I just really liked A Darker Shade of Magic and the third book came out in February this year. So that was my first mid-year book freakout tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You guys can also follow me on all of my social media pages like Snapchat, Instagram, Goodreads. So just add me on all of those. Plus, if you wanna send me an email, I will also leave my email address in the link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.